Hey guys, in this video I wanted to introduce feed forward control and the reason we care so much about feed forward control is that it will help us minimize error. Error is the difference between the output and the set point that we have for that output. So if we have been told that we need to make sure that some kind of outlet stream is 10 cubic meters per second and we have only 9 cubic meters per second coming out, we have an error of 1 cubic meter per second, and that's an issue for some of our processes in which we need to make sure that we are as close to the set point value as possible. And so um, what I've drawn to the left here is a diagram in which we have a stream F1 with a valve on it. We have some disturbance input F2, so F2 is some inlet stream with a variable flow rate that we have no control over, but we can measure it. And our goal here is to make sure that we make some outlet stream F3 as close to 10 cubic meters per second as possible, near some kind of set point value. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is, after understanding the control objective, write down what our manipulated inputs are. And manipulated inputs are things that we can change our controller can actually act on them to make them a new value and in that case it would be stream f1 because we have a valve on it we look at what our disturbance inputs are and we can say that f2 in this case would be some kind of disturbance input because you know someone upstream of us is cranking out however many uh, cubic meters per second of flow rate but we've got to make sure that the mixed stream has this new flow value and then the outputs in our process in this case would be F3. And so if you were told to design a controller, a feed forward controller for this process, essentially what you would do is you would look at whatever stream F2 is and then you would figure out, okay, whatever uh, my set point is, I'll subtract that from F2 and determine what flow rate I need to make F1. And this is just looking at the information that you have coming into your mixer. And so while this seems very intuitive and simple, uh, and it would work to a degree, it's not as good of a controller as we could possibly make because we are neglecting pieces of information that are very valuable to us. And what I'm trying to get at here is the fact that while we can measure the inlet stream to one to our mixer, we also can measure the outlet stream for our mixer, which is the thing that we really care about at the end of the day. And so the thing that you wanna make use of, especially in this modern age of information, is taking in as much data, as much relevant data as you can. And that's where there's a bit of an art to this, um, because obviously we can start looking at like, what is the temperature and what is the pressure and what is, you know, all these other, you know, pH, we can look at tons of pieces of information that aren't necessarily relevant to our output. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're designing controllers that are looking at pertinent inputs and pertinent outputs to your process that help you make sure that you are giving your system a solid set point value. You're actually achieving this set point within reason. And so um, another thing that I want to emphasize, so essentially the gist of what I'm getting at in one sentence is that feed forward controllers, FFC, are, should, should be used in conjunction with a feedback controller. So um, an FBC is how I'm abbreviating it. So you're going to be making use of not only what's coming into your process, but what is leaving your process, letting that feedback and feed forward information help your controller make decisions on how to manipulate the things that it can manipulate. And so, um, you know, in real life, and this is one of the things I love about engineering is that we have uncertainty. And on paper, in this lecture, I can make it seem really clean and simple with these flow meters, and we're gonna perfectly understand what is the flow rate of F2 coming into this process, and we're gonna perfectly be able to man manipulate uh, flow F1 in order to achieve our set point value of F3 exactly, but that quite often is not the case, if ever. And so, um, you know, we have a lot of uncertainty in our process and we need to somehow still make things work at the end of the day, even though we're never going to be 100% certain of anything. 
um, except in math. But in engineering and in the real world and in science, you're never 100% sure of anything. So in this case, we just make use of more pieces of information that are relevant to us. And in that case, um, we also really, at the end of the day, care about our feedback. And our feedback is comes in the form of the flow meter reading of F3 because we're trying to achieve some kind of set point value for F3. And so if I can measure what F3 is, and if I can also measure what our disturbance stream F2 is, I'll have a controller that has a higher performance than I would if I only relied on a feedback controller because the issue with our feedback controllers is that they do have larger errors. Uh, the feedback controllers are robust in that they you know, will eventually get you closer to your set point value. They're never going to get you uh, to that exact set point value, but they'll get you close to it. Um, is, but you know, you can make use of more information so that if you know that there's a surge or a drought coming in of your F2 stream, you can proactively manipulate stream F1 in order to make sure that you've minimized the error for your set point value. And so that is why we care about feed forward control in the first place. But at the end of the day, again, and I'm sorry I've said this many times now, but I wanna make sure people remember this, we're going to be using feed forward in conjunction with feedback in all of our processes because we need to make sure that we are using every piece of relevant information when we are designing controllers. And so that's gonna wrap things up for this video. I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.